Um, good morning, all together, and welcome to my presentation, Ties and More. Degree freshly implements OGC WMTS. My name is uh, Sebastian Görke, and I'm working for Latlon, as said before. Um, yeah, and let's start. So, first of all, some words on, on Latlon, who we are. Um, yeah, we are a software development and consulting company in, uh, based in Germany, in Bonn, since the year 2000. Um, yeah, we are linking standards-based uh, geospatial applications with a professional open source technology. And we are, uh, from startup, uh, an active member of the um, Open Geospatial Consortium. And since uh, 2010, we are um, one of the principal members of the Open Geospatial Consortium. Um, yeah, and we are um, actively participating um, the um, Phosphor-G community. So um, Degree is, for example, one of the OSGEO uh, projects. Yeah, a few words uh, on me. Um, I'm working at Latlon as a um, consultant for uh, spatial data infrastructures and OGC services. Um, and am the technical committee representative at the OGC for uh, Latlon. So therefore, I will be leaving early today to the uh, OGC TC meeting in Frascati, which uh, starts on Monday. So the degree project, or now known as degree initiative since um, the last community space uh, in 2012. Um, who, uh, who of you know degree? Please raise your hand. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, degree provides state-of-the-art geospatial software, uh, implements uh, standard-based software for sustainable and interoperable uh, solutions, so uh, different or several um, SDI implementations in uh, Germany. Degree has an LGPL license and uh, since uh, 2010, Degree is an incubated OSGEO project. So I have a timeline here. In the year 2000, um, Degree was founded somehow at the University of Bonn as uh, the project XSE. Then there was a follow-up in renaming it into Degree. Then we had Degree 2, which was the um, uh, biggest implementation of OGC standards in the open source world. Um, I think it was 2000 nine when we started uh, the OSGEO incubation, uh, which we graduated in 2010. And also in 2010, we had degree three, and uh, now we are on at uh, version 3.3 .3 with degree. Degree and the OGC, as said before, um, OG, uh, a degree is um, yeah, one of the most comprehensive um, implementation of um, OGC standards in the open source world. Um, so degree is the reference implementation, uh, implementation for all of these um, deg uh, OGC standards. So uh, web coverage service 1.0, web map service 1.1.1, web map service 1.3. Uh, web Feature Service 1.1, Web Feature Service 2.0, uh, Web Map Tile Service, on which my presentation is, um, and geographic, uh, Geography Markup Language 3.2.1. Uh, Currently, there is a recertification process of all these uh, reference implementations and compliance certificates at the OGC with uh, the new degree version 3.3, .3. and I think uh, at the end of the year, 
we will have a recertificated um, setup of degree with all of these um, standards. Yeah, as you um, have seen, maybe the um, template of my presentation switched to the uh, OSGEO and degree one from the uh, degree and Latlon one because now I'm switching more to the uh, degree project side and this means, no, we have more standards first. <laughs> We're also implementing a web processing service, uh, the catalog service, service, several versions of GML, filter encoding, SLE and SE. SLE is style data descriptor and SE is symbology encoding. So, and now I'm switching. Web map tile service. I think you know what a uh, web map tile service is in general. Who knows it? Okay, this was some. Um, yeah, so I will first introduce the web map tile service in general, this the standard. And that's the definition of the OGC specification, a WMTS enabled server application can serve map tiles of spatially referenced data using tile images with predefined, predefined content, extent and resolution. So as you may know, um, or as you know, um, maybe no, um, there are several implementations of tiling services and so why do we use, uh, why do we need an uh, OGC implementation? I think that's easy because um, the OGC is the standardization um, organization within uh, the geospatial world and we need a standard for tiling. So some details. What else is AWMTS? It provides the operations get capabilities uh, with which you can get the um, services metadata. There is the most important uh, operation of get tile with which you can get your tile data. Um, this operation is based on tile matrix sets, which I will explain a bit more um, later. And there's the optional operation of get feature info defined in, in this standard. Get feature info um, is a very difficult operation because there's no, no real standardization and um, yeah, for, for the output format. And so it's very difficult even in uh, WMS implementations to, um, yeah, to, to solve interoperability uh, issues. Um, yeah, I said get tile is based on tile matrix sets. Here we have an um, example request for a uh, get tile request. So I don't know if you can see if uh, uh, that uh, here is something in bold. This is um, the definition for the request of a tile um, with a specific tile matrix set. In that case, it's tile matrix set Inspire CRS uh, 84 quad. The tile matrix is the zero, tile row, or and tile column. And of course, you have a layer. So on with those parameters, you are able to provide maps through this standard. But additionally, you need um, an understanding of tile matrix set. This is a tile pyramid taken from the WMTS standard. So on the first level, you have just one tile for the whole um, bounding box, for example. Then you have four, uh, 16, and so on. And every uh, tile layer is um, its own tile matrix. So you have a set of tile matrices uh, and that's a tile matrix set. And of course you have rows and columns. And that's all you need to um, get um, your map from a WMTS. Um, because 
a time matrix set has um, every every time has a um, spatial reference given by uh, a specific um, coordinate reference system. Yeah, but what about degree WMTS, which is um, yeah the pr this presentation mainly about degree WMTS has some some special uh, highlights I would <coughs> say um, first of all I'll start with the spatial reference support of degree WMTS. There is native support for, for several time matrix sets, such as Inspire CRS, 84 Quad, Google CRS, 84 Qu uh, Quad, Global CRS, 84 Scale, and several more. And you are able to add your own time matrix set to your um, degree server or service. Um, and as uh, the whole degree uh, web services uh, package the configuration is XML based. So uh, to define a new tile metric set, you just have to uh, define uh, a tile metric set like this. This is taken from the capabilities and the configuration is oriented, oriented um, on the capabilities document. I don't know if you can see that this um, or read this. So we have the identifier inspired CRS 84 quad. The supported CRS is uh, CRS84. And so uh, the matrix set knows uh, about its uh, spatial reference. And to, um, to uh, locate the tiles within its uh, tile matrix set, we have the definition of a tile matrix set with a scale denominator for the whole tile matrix, the top left corner. Um, which gives the spatial reference to the tile matrix set based on, based on the supported CRS, tile width, tile height, uh, and matrix width and matrix, uh, matrix height. Yeah, and these are the parameters which you uh, need to um, use a WMTS uh, get tile request. So some. Uh, words on data sources. Degree WMTS has um, support for GeoTIFF, so-called tile stores. We call it tile stores in degree. Um, and with, with GeoTIFF, you have the um, capability to um, uh, use the tile the, uh, matrix set of the uh, GeoTIFF itself. So um, you could serve a WMTS. Uh, which is only based on the uh, this this one uh, GeoTIFF. The GeoTIFF uh, support brings uh, big TIFF support, um, so you are able to uh, serve um, GeoTIFFs with a size of um, more than uh, four uh, GB. Um, yeah, further further um, data source is tile cache. You all know tile cache, um, with which you are able to to uh, provide the tile cache um, um, file-based um, tile sets, tiling sets. Um, yeah, and uh, my personal favorite data sources are uh, remote WMS in the versions 1.1.1 and 1.3, and uh, remote WMTS 1.0. This means you can um, cascade uh, remote WMS services through degree and provide it as um, WMTS. There is also a caching mechani mechanism for this, so um, that tiles are cached um, within a um, EH cache-based uh, cache. Um, yeah, here's an example picture of the output tile, just to give you, um, uh, yeah. And 
The third of the um, sections of highlights is um, we get feature info operation. As mentioned before, um, get feature info is not well specified by the OGC standards. And this makes it very difficult to, to handle it, um, even in, in, in uh, WMS implementations. And degree WMTS is able to cascade uh, get feature info output from remote WMS and from remote WMTS. So for example, this looks like uh, this is this is a HTML output of a get feature info um, request. And um, using degree WMTS for this um, has the opportunity that uh, degree WMS um, has um, yeah, wide support uh, for uh, a wide range support for several get feature info implementations. For example, a degree can understand um, ESRI get feature info output, um, your man map server get feature info output, uh, my WMS uh, get feature in info output, and so on. And so you can um, cascade all these and put it all together in one WMTS and uh, service, uh, serve it as a file server, uh, service. So, yeah, now I'm uh, at the Outlook. My presentation was not that uh, long, but I hope it was uh, contentful. So what's hot? There's one missing um, for the uh, WMTS, and that's uh, support for GeoWebCache-based data sources. Then we have, um, currently, we are, we are implementing a, a GDAO tile store. And with that, you will be able to um, serve um, tile sources based on every GDAO um, output format which supports tiling. Yeah, uh, within the degree project, um, there's uh, one point which is very hot currently, and that's the security. So we are uh, working hard on uh, the degree uh, security component um, within, within degree three. There was one in degree two, but uh, now we are implementing a new one, fresh, uh, fresh new one within degree three. Yeah, and what's also hot is the upcoming uh, degree release 3.4, which will be within the next month, which brings, um, for example, a resource-based workspace concept so that you can um, uh, reload every um, configur configured um, component data source, for example. You can just say, OK, reload this data source, which is not possible uh, currently. Yeah and so on. Um, yeah, and what's, what uh, also is uh, hot and nice to have it on the Outlook um, slide is the Foskis uh, hacking event um, at the end of uh, November, which uh, will take place at the Linux Hotel in uh, Essen in Germany. And we will have uh, many participants from the degree initiative and so we will, uh, yeah, hopefully reach uh, many goals uh, we have for future degree development. So here are some uh, links. So you can follow us on Twitter, go to the wiki and the general degree website. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, that was it. Initiative. Initiative, okay. Uh, we still have some minutes for questions. <coughs> yeah. Do you also support the WMTS uh, REST by Chrome? Uh, not yet, but it's planned. I, I forgot.
the audience. I, I have one. Um, the tiling, uh, the numbering scheme mm -hmm. of tiles are different as far as I know between uh, uh, Google, Bing, and Open Layers, perhaps. Oh. And is uh, WMTS still another one concept of, of numbering scheme, <coughs> schema? Or yeah, maybe. It's maybe a uh, its own uh, scheme. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not not qu quite sure. Um, yeah. And what what is needed on the client side? Yeah. Client. You have to uh, support WMTS protocol. <laughs> and you does Decree uh, comprise its own client? Uh, not not for WMTS, but it works with Open Layers, for example. Open Layers would support. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I forgot uh, one important point. Um, this WMTS is used within the um, European Inspire Geo portal from uh, the Commission. Mm 